Hi, I'm Kelly from Cross Country Ski Ontario, and today we're going to be learning about grip wax, glide wax, and general maintenance you need to do on your skis. All skis require glide wax, whether you have a waxless ski, a waxable classic ski, a skin or a skate ski, you will need to be doing some sort of glide maintenance on your ski. Waxless is a slightly misleading term where it's actually only referring to your grip zone. The fish scales or crown pattern, that is the waxless section where you don't need to apply grip wax every day in order for the skis to grip on the snow. You still need to do glide wax on the tips and tails of the ski. Glide wax is an important thing that you need to be doing in order to regularly maintain your skis. This can be done in a few different ways. You can use liquid wax or you can use a hot wax using an iron. The reason we need to glide wax is because we need the skis to be gliding smoothly over the snow. What happens over time is the little uh, hairs on the base of your ski, they start to stick up and they cause friction with the snow, which slows us down. So we wanna make sure that we're doing regular glide maintenance in order to get the best glide out of our skis. One way that you can glide wax your skis is to use an iron and wax. We melt the wax into the ski, let it completely cool. Once it's done cooling, you are then going to scrape the wax off until we have a really fine layer of wax that is gliding on the snow. The key to liquid wax success is using a base wax. You are going to apply. It's got a pretty easy applicator with just a sponge pad there and you're going to apply that onto the ski. You're gonna let it dry for 20 minutes. It's going to look milky or cloudy on the ski when it's all dried. And then using a natural cork, you are going to buff it into the ski until it's nice and smooth. After that, you're going to choose your glide wax of the day. So the temperature that you would be using and the application is the same. So you're going to apply, let dry, and then buff it. If you haven't gotten your skis glide waxed in a while, you're gonna notice that they're looking a little gray or white on the edges of the base of your ski. This is an indication that you need to get a hot wax done. Once this is done, you're gonna notice that your skis are gliding a lot better on the snow. A good rule of thumb is to glide wax your skis every 50 kilometers or so. Whether this is a hot wax or liquid wax, it doesn't matter as long as you're doing that regular maintenance. For our waxable classic skis, we need to apply grip wax to our grip zone. The way this is done is you are going to be choosing your grip wax of the day, which does depend on the snow type and temperature. You're going to crayon on a thin layer of grip wax and then using a synthetic cork, you are going to buff in that grip wax. We want to apply three to five layers of grip wax every time that we go out so that we have enough grip the entire time that we are skiing. Find your local club at the Cross Country Ski Ontario website. They're going to have the best advice to tell you where to get your skis waxed or help you build a kit of your own.